Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, here's a demonstration today creating a card using some of my brand new texture stitch in time collection. So usually I love to work with the embroidery hoops, I love to use the flowers, the layering flower stamps, but um, today I'm going to pick a couple of the other items that are usually additional extras and create a card with those. So these are cutting dies. Now these are much larger than they show on the packet. So I'll just show you these. These are the sewing tools. Um, you can find them at craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us. I will link down in the comments um, where you can purchase these from. So it's nice and quick and easy for you. Um, so with these, we've got our dress form. We've got, I love the safety pin. This is just one of my favorites because it looks as if it's actually um, cut into or, or placed into something. Um, we have got scissors in here, we've got the little uh, thread cards, spools and everything in there, needle and thread as well. So these are really good fun and I've already cut a couple of these pieces. So I have cut the dress form from black here and I've also cut some of the scissors from black as well, just some silhouettes there. So I've got those and then I've also got the fabric edging die set. Now again, these are much larger than they appear. As you can see they are big dies and these do remain within the uh, cardstock as well so the straight edge on each one of these doesn't cut away so as you see here we've got the border here so this can remain within your cardstock so it can be the top or the bottom of a card it can be the edges we're going to use this today as an edge to our actual card base i'm going to work with the lace there so i'll pop the hessian back inside um, when you cut it out as you can see it looks like this a beautiful die that you can um, use cut out or in the card so let's get started I've got lots of other items that I'm going to be using throughout this video but I will bring those in one at a time and explain to you what they are so the first thing we need to do is take a card base now because this die is around about six inches tall or it's just over six inches tall um, we can cut this perfectly into a six by six card base there white card base so I'm just going to place this over the edge so if I just open this card up actually so you can see I've got my score line here just place that over the edge there and I'm going to tack this down so a little bit of repositionable tape there now you may be thinking well I've only got uh, a smaller die cutting machine I've not got a big A4 die cutting machine that's absolutely fine what I tend to like to do when I'm cutting a die like this knowing that this is a card base it's usually going to be 250 300 maybe even 350 GSM it's going to be hard to get through with all of that detail in one go no matter what machine you're using and what direction you're die cutting in so I like to fold the back of my card over onto the back of the die that way and I can then run that through my smaller machines so I've just got my big shot here this is actually a big shot plus uh, just bring this in view here so you can see it. it is the a4 plate one but if you've got a small machine a six by six card should go through that so because this is such a detailed die I'm going to be going forward and I'm going to come back again okay now let's take this out and have a look now first of all we've got our edge that's come away that's always a good start now on the reverse there we've got a little bit of embossing from the back of the die where it was folded round and the pressure has just marked that ever so slightly. You can cover that over with another sheet of paper or card. I like to go with a nice uh, coordinating sheet of paper, something that matches what you're using. So it looks like it was all meant to be. I'll just release my tape there. I like to use, in fact I'll link in the comments the, uh, the tape that I use because um, it's a really, really good one. It's easy tear and it doesn't lift up any color or anything off of the papers that you're using. Um, as you can see, we've all cut beautifully there. Uh, with my pokey tool, I'm just going to release all these pieces. This is where I make lots of mess. I've actually found that the quicker way of releasing pieces is actually to drag the pokey tool down over the pieces rather than sit and individually poke each one out to start with. So I'll just drag first, uh, very lightly. I'm not putting any pressure, so I'm just sort of flicking the card. And then once I've got out as much as I think is going to come out using this technique, then I go in and I start poking out the smaller pieces if I need to. So just a few there. I'm going to leave the smaller ones in, in the center of the flowers here. I don't think they need to be popped out. So just those few larger ones there. There we go, all cut absolutely beautifully. And that's all now 
within our card base. So we have got a shaped card base, there's a little bit of tape on there. Isn't that just beautiful? Now this can be at the side, but it could also be at the bottom. So it could be like this, so this was the base, a piece of ribbon across there, and you've got an absolutely perfect wedding invitation or something like that. Um, so it can be really simple and elegant if you want it to be. Um, next, what I'm going to do now, because I don't need to add anything else to that, that is that is that done. I don't need to be gluing anything on. Um, so the next stage is to add a little bit of colour. Now I adore, I've got the Stitch in Time from Textures, I've got the paper pack here. So this has got a variety of different papers. Mine's obviously used, I've got lots of different patterns in here. So we've got the, uh, the blue and white in there. We've got the lace effect. We have got, I love the chevron one. That's the one I think I'm going to be using because I wanted the stronger colors. We've got one that looks a bit like a woven fabric there as well. Um, the green plaid there as well. They're just absolutely beautiful. Lots and lots of designs to choose from. But like I say, I'm going to be working with that darker one. Everything's going to be listed in the comments below. So uh, you'll be able to find everything. Now I have taken the lighter colors. I've cut into this chevron. So this piece went here. I'm actually going to cut this a little more precisely here, just to make it a bit neater and go along the edges to cut up to the line. Now these chevrons, not only do they have the really pretty patterns on them, but they also have stitching printed onto each of the chevrons, just to add to that stitching theme that we've got going on with all of the Stitch in Time collections. And these collections will work really well as well with other collections that you've got other things that you've got uh, in your craft stash of course they don't have to be just for stitched effects so like I say the lace would work really well for wedding cards um, for new baby cards as well and things like that so let's have a tidy up so I've just cut two of the chevrons I didn't go I wanted to go for the dark blue but I didn't I mean that would look fabulous anyway wouldn't it but I didn't go for that purely because I want to bring in the black embellishments so I'm going to stick with these lighter ones, lighter, paler colour ones, and just pop those over there. In fact, I might bring these this way, okay? So then we've got our lace just coming outside of the chevrons, and I'm going to glue those down. So I like to use a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer. I've decanted it into a smaller bottle with a fine metal tip nib on it there, so I can get some accurate gluing going on. I'm going to place this down just so the chevrons touch the edge of the card there and then I can turn this round and if I need to I can snip anything off the back I don't think I need to now I think I'm pretty pretty well lined up there's a little slither off of this end there we go not too bad at all so that just leads perfectly into that lace now, uh, another product I want to show you from the range is the sentiment stamps, and I'm going to be using them here. So they, here they are all stamped together. Um, this is my favorite sentiment. As you can see, I've pre-stamped that. Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. And hopefully you can also see the, um, the detail we've got in that sentiment. So these are all clear stamps. They're all made from photopolymer. They're not silicone or acrylic or anything like that. So they're going to stamp perfectly time after time after time and they're not going to wear as um, less expensive stamps would. So I've got this stamped in black here and I'm going to bring in a mat of green. And the reason I've chosen green is because we've got this bright grass green deep within that pattern paper in the leaves there. So that will just work really well with that. Now I'm not going to stick that down just yet. What I'm going to do is just take some uh, foam tape and put those two layers together and get the foam tape ready. So once I've worked out where it's going to go exactly, then I can just stick it down. So foam tape between both layers will give it a dimensional look. It will also help you if you want to tuck anything under the edges of the layers foam tape will help you to do that once it's glued down you can't tuck things in and around so just making sure that's got a nice even border all the way around place that over there so a little bit of tape at the top and bottom I think sometimes people can go overboard with their foam tape you don't need to use as much as you probably think you do so less is more sometimes 
there we go. Now that on its own is a really pretty card. You don't necessarily have to add anything else to that, but I'm going to bring in these from the Sewing Tools collection. So uh, as I showed you at the beginning, we've got the dress form there. I've just die cut that from a nice sturdy 300 and G 350 GSM cardstock, a black cardstock, and the same with the scissors there. So I think that is going to sit you see what I mean about just tucking that over the green there? I might I might actually overlap that on there. But this is the reason I didn't want to use that dark blue because if I had the dark blue chevrons there in the paper and then I put the black over the top, you just lose it, don't you? So at least this way we keep the wonderful silhouette of that uh, dress form there. So I think that can go behind the sentiment and then I can bring these scissors you should always have scissors downwards, down like so. One more thing I want to add into this though is this, and this is the tape measure. I love this. I think I absolutely adore this stamp. So this has come from the Stitch in Time Borders stamp set. Uh, you've got three of the tape measures there, going from 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and 21 to 30. Then you've got all of these different stitches as well. Uh, just show you another example of this tape measure on another card using similar techniques. So we've got the stitching around the edge. We've got this tape measure here. I'm just going to add something similar to this card. Another one of those sentiments, so this is so happy for you. And there's that dress form again. Um, so that has been embossed with clear embossing powder using the lace background stamp and in the background we've got the uh, dress pattern background stamp as well so there's lots and lots included within that uh, stitch in time collection so I've stamped this onto an ivory color card stock and I've just just stopped at the edge there I didn't need a long piece for this and just to finish this off I've got a tiny little piece of mirror card here so I'm going to add this to the very end of the tape measure and this is just going to make this um, look a little more realistic. So it's just a tiny little bit that I've hand cut and pop it onto the very end there of the tape measure. And I think I'm going to bring the tape measure in just at the side here. So that's just going to go underneath that sentiment. And then, as I say, the scissors can come over the top. So let's start placing some of these down. Um, I think I'm going to put some foam tape behind the dress form here. So that's going to have to go behind the main bodice. And then it might just have to be a little tiny bit. In fact, that is really quite, um, quite thin there. So a little tiny piece just on the largest part of the stand. So not a lot at all. That's enough to hold it because we've then got the sentiment going over the top as well. So keeping the backing on the sentiment at the moment, because I want to do some positioning and I don't want that cat the glue catching. Move that out the way. There we go. So I think that's going to go. I think I'll bring that to the middle of the card, and this can just be off centre slightly. So just there perfect making sure it looks nice and straight then I can put down the sentiment here like so over the top just having a look at the top and bottom and the sides making sure this is as central as I can get it perfect this is going to be uh, glued down what I'm going to do is just with my fingers just roll the end into an S shape like so I'm just going to glue this part. Okay, so obviously we've got the lace detail, so the glue won't all um, catch on the lace. So you just need to be careful not to close your card too quickly. There we go, so that can go over there. What you might like to do is just turn this over, make sure it's nice and straight, and just take something like, let's just take a wet wipe, and just dab it over the glue on the reverse and what this is going to do is just pick up any excess glue so you don't stick to your card and then just to ensure that's nice and dry not sticky I've got my embossing powder bag my anti-static bag I'm just going to dab that over the tape there now I'm also going to 
carefully cut around the lace on this side. You could, if you're clever, you could use the die and position this to actually cut it for you on the edge, but it's going to take a lot of um, being very careful with that to catch just that edge. So there, I've just done that that way. So you've now got the shape of the lace in there. And lastly, I just had the little scissors and I chose to use these in silhouette. I mean, I could cut these from gold. I'll show you those in gold in a moment, actually. They're really pretty. But I've just chosen to go for the black silhouette because it just works really well with the black of the dress form and the stance sentiment there as well. So there is the finished card. As you can see, if you open it up, you've got that lovely lace detail on one side. It looks like lots of different fabrics, lots of textures in there beautiful things come together one stitch at a time and if I just show you another example of something a bit similar using the same sentiment using that tape measure again across the bottom but using the embroidery hoop dies um, but this is that those scissors in the gold as I said so they look really luxurious don't they very elegant there um, but you've got the choice with die cutting you can die cut absolutely any color that you want to so uh, again, thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button. I'll be uploading videos as regularly as possible. And down below in the description, I will link everything that I've used today to create this card. Thanks for watching. Bye.